Okay, I'm back with a first look and review, initial review, of a new case that I've been using for a little over a day now. And it is, of course, the Nomad traditional leather case that I have here in the brown color. And I have it paired with my iPhone 16 Pro that I have in the natural titanium color. So you can kind of see how that combination looks over there. So, uh, as I said, I've been using the case for a little over a day now. Um, so I think I have some good initial thoughts on what it's been like, and I'll start with the things that I like. Uh, beginning with the fit and finish, because Nomad cases and products aren't cheap, but I do think that the craftsmanship shows in this case. The case fits very snug snugly, and to my eyes, appears very well made. Of course, I'll have to see how it holds up long term, how the leather ages and patinas, but on first impression, the leather feels very good. It's nice and smooth. And as I've used it over the past day, I've noticed that it is beginning to develop a little bit of grip um, so that it does feel a little better in the hand, which is a good indication that it will patina very well. Um, I do have a little mark right here on the top. I'm not sure where that came from, but as with any leather case uh, cases or leather products in general, uh, it is going to mark and patina a little bit over time. Um, and that's kind of, you know, part of the journey of having a leather case. Uh, next, I do think that the cutouts are all appropriate and line up very well. The speaker holes and the port for the um, USB-C port um, are all nicely done. So Nomad have done a good job with that. And there is a black uh, accented uh, ring around the camera cutout that um, protrudes out a little bit and that protects the the camera lenses on your iPhone. Um, and overall, I think it's uh, pretty clean, slim and minimal, and I think that applies to the branding as well. There is no branding on the case other than the word Nomad um, stamped on the left-hand side of the case. Uh, but what I really love so far in my first day of usage of the case are the buttons that Nomad have chosen because uh, these buttons are fantastic. They're a nice gunmetal color. Uh, they protrude out of the case very nicely, but they don't have any sharp edges on it, which is very nice. And the best part that Nomad have done, which I don't, you know, I think more case makers should do, is that their action button and the power button are textured. They have little ridges on them, which make them very easy to feel out and just uh, very wonderful to click. They haven't, you know, makes it nice and tactile and very satisfying. Uh, and they do have a little bit of a click to them. Um, and lastly, what I think Nomad did a very good job with, and part of why I chose this case compared to other ones, is with the camera cutout. So obviously you can see that there is a giant uh, cutout for the camera capture button. But um, what I find with the cases that have uh, a more exact cutout is that it makes the camera capture a little bit more difficult to press. So with this kind of a design, it actually feels like the camera capture button is um, fully unexposed, like you're not using it with the case at all. Of course, I think the best option is to have a covered camera capture button the way Apple have done with their silicone cases. Uh, but I think, you know, that's kind of a logistical thing that case manufacturers are going to have to figure out. Um, overall, I think this is not a bad compromise. And having a cutout like this has a residual benefit, which is that it makes the camera capture uh, kind of easy to feel out with the fingers. So if I'm holding my phone in my left hand and using it, I know exactly where the cutout is and I can kind of actuate the camera capture button pretty quickly. Same if I'm using it in my right hand. It kind of falls in place where it's very easy to activate the button. Uh, so that is kind of a side benefit because, you know, the camera capture is very flush with the frame, which when you're using the phone naked kind of makes it a little hard to feel out, you know, just by feel. Um, I think, you know, I, I don't know if this will ever happen, but I feel like in future revisions, if Apple had the button protruding a little bit, it would feel a little bit more like a camera shutter button where you have a little bit more of a feel and, um, feedback with the button being out. So uh, anyway, that is kind of a pro to having a cutout like this. So overall, I do like Nomad's choice and I do like the case. So how about any drawbacks in my first day of using the case? Uh, so there are some minor things that I've noticed that, you know, could be considered drawbacks. Um, for one, the case itself is pretty slim, which I do like. That is kind of something that I want with leather cases. I want it to be, uh, to have a slim profile. Um, but if you are looking for a case that has a deep lip on the screen to protect the screen. This case isn't it. Um, in fact, you know, I use a screen protector and the screen protector and the lip of the case is almost flush. So you might lose a little bit of protection on the screen in that regard. Uh, so it's just something to know. Most leather cases are pretty slim and um, 
not the best if you're looking for a case with the most amount of protection. Um, the other thing that I will mention is that the buttons, while I love them, uh, the power button and the action button are great with the texture and the clickiness. On my case, the volume buttons actually are a little bit soft and kind of mushy. They're um, still very easy to press and they are separated so they're easy to feel out with the fingers um, but it just doesn't have the same kind of click and tactile feedback as the power button and the action button and i do believe that's because on the inside of the case the buttons are on one piece so they kind of click on one piece whereas the power button and action button of course are you know floating alone on their own it's a minor nitpick and of course doesn't uh, affect the usage at all and uh, you know i'm optimistic that maybe over time those buttons will soften a little bit um, and then lastly i will just mention the price right now nomad sells this uh, on their website for 60 dollars, and with tax and shipping it came out to a little over 70 dollars. and even though i think that is pretty competitively priced compared to other leather case makers um, i still don't think that that's a very cheap case you know i mentioned the apple silicone case before and this i got on sale on woot recently for only 30 dollars, so less than half the cost of the nomad case um, that being said i do think that the nomad traditional leather case is very nice i am very happy with my purchase um, and overall i think they have done an excellent job um, of course the last thing that i'm kind of curious and looking forward to is how the leather itself will age in patina over time and maybe i'll you know come back in a few months with any kind of updates if there's anything interesting of note but yeah that's it that's my uh first impressions and look at the nomad leather case um oh actually one other thing that i will mention that this is their um traditional leather case that is um only marked as sustainably sourced full grain leather so right out of the right out of the box i didn't have a strong uh, leather smell i just gave it a little sniff there right there um you know it doesn't really have a very strong leather smell so small drawback i believe if you get the horween version which they only make in the modern leather case um the horween leather is probably you know a little bit pricier and probably gets more of a leather smell but all right i think that's it um overall i do like the case as i've said and um yeah i hope that helps some of you out there and thanks for watching